Welcome back lettering lovers. Once again, we're going in with another lettering tutorial. This time we're doing breakout balloons in Adobe Illustrator. Now, uh, what's a breakout balloon? I hear you cry. Well, uh, I've got an example for you here. And we've got a character who is screaming out in agony. And as you can see, the text is breaking out of his speech bubble slash balloon, uh, but it still sort of looks part of it. Thanks mostly to the white uh, stroke and the black outline. It all looks like one unified bubble. And this is a breakout balloon. So what we're going to do is now uh, let one of these for you. And uh, let's go. So here we are at the page that is going to be lettered. And as you can see, I have my uh, scream already set up here. Nice. Ah. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, place that over here nicely and then turn it into a breakout balloon. So uh, in this particular case, I've used the same font as the rest of the body font. Um, as the uh, scream is, is vocal, you can get away with that because um, it's part of the actual speech. But you can use any font you want, really. It depends uh, what sort of effect you're going for. So uh, first step, as this text is still editable, and I, I don't, be, I won't be wanting that. So I'm going to come up here and press Type, and create outlines, which will turn all of these into uh, shapes that are no longer editable. Now you can see some of them are combined together still. So uh, what we can do is uh, select that again and come over here into the Pathfinder and click Trim, and basically that will cut these letters into individual shapes we can now go in and change them all so i'm just going to grab these and uh, tweak it slightly just to give it a bit of an uplift to make it feel a little bit more dynamic and i'm going to make it a little bit larger so we can see what we're doing if i uh, grab the art layer just tweak the opacity down slightly and we can actually do it in place as it's going to go about here so first things first i'm going to grab hold of this a and uh, object and group them all so I can grab them individually. Now you will just slightly notice if I grab this, um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's been cut out. The trim actually leaves a little mark as well. And we don't want that, so you can just delete that out of the way. Um, with this A, I'm going to bring it all over here. And we'll start by having a large A, because the screams always start with A like high pitched and large. So we're going to go uh, for that look. And next one, slightly decrease in size, get rid of that. This one, I'm just going to drop that down there to make it look a bit cooler. So it gives it a bit more uh, action in the actual uh, word. my way through these letters, placing them attractively. So it looks more dynamic. Uh, I'll leave that one the size that it is. Let's shrink this slightly. Um, the up down effect as well also looks really cool. So nudge that across. I'll grab these. I'm just going to tweak them that way a bit. Um, enlarge them slightly just to give a bit more emphasis to the exclamation move these in down there like so okay we've got ourselves a nice screen going on there shrink that down a bit because obviously I don't want it to dominate the art it still needs to look pretty good up there so it doesn't interfere with his ear. In fact, what I'm going to do is tweak it a little bit more. That's looking pretty good to me. Okay, so we've got our scream in place. Uh, next up, we need our balloon or bubble. So I'm going to draw myself out a nice white bubble like so. Now you might think it needs to take up the whole the whole word, uh, but not in this case. We just need a smaller bubble so that the text can break out of it and that looks pretty cool 
it's nice that we've got these little points sticking out above that gives an interesting effect as well and uh, I'm quite happy with that I'm just gonna extend it a little bit like so perfect so we've got our bubble now we just need a tail coming from off panel just gonna quickly sketch a quick tail out like so perfect and finally we need the outline for our font so I'll lock that grab all those words group them together and I'm just going to make a, cop a copy of this uh, copy that and then which is command and C and then if you do a command and F it will paste another copy in the exact position I'll just change that bottom layer to white so you can see that underneath uh, we've got an exact replica of that screen. Plus turning it to white means uh, I can see what happens when I do the next effect. So uh, with your bottom arg selected, if you come over to object, path, offset path, it will create a sort of almost like a white stroke. Basically it's just, you're telling it to uh, expand slightly um, by 1.2 millimeters make it a little bit bigger um, just make it a little bit more exciting and uh, the joins it, it's sort of like if there's corners or points uh, you can you can mess around with this and it will give you a slightly different effect but I'm just going to stick with that for the moment and that's looking pretty good so we've got ourselves uh, a nice stroke outside of there so all I need to do now uh, is grab hold of that white layer. I'm going to move that down into the bubbles, uh, the bubbles layer. And then I'm going to make sure that the offset path is selected, make sure that the tail is selected, make sure the ellipse is selected. So we've got all our white things together. And I'm going to hold down the option key and press the unite up there. And that basically turns it everything like I didn't select everything so yeah bubble uh, tail and the white group hold down the option press unite uh, puts them puts all three inside another compound path shape like so but because I held down the option key it means I can still go in and move about individual parts if I wanted to uh, perfect so with uh, all the white items selected now I just need to come over here and drop in a little stroke and as you can see we've got ourselves a rather nice looking breakout balloon I'm just gonna adjust it slightly and just a bit of final uh, <coughs> final finesse last touches just want to extend that slightly it feels a bit rounder along here just move that in slightly so it doesn't interfere with that and there you go that ladies and gentlemen is a breakout balloon i uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, plenty more of those uh, incoming and uh, go away make yourself loads of these and i'll see you again for the next tutorial thank you goodbye